Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. That daily dose of rain and thunderstorms, it's back in the forecast on into Saturday as we push on through the end of the week with that chance generated by the sea breeze front mid-morning, mid-afternoon, and increased moisture. That's all going to combine to give us that opportunity. And again, that includes the 4th of July there on Friday. Uh, sea breeze showers, you remember that, how the ground warms up during the day and the air rises. And then to fill the vacuum, while well, the cooler air comes in off the water and pushes in as kind of a localized cold front. And as that slams into the warm air rising, well, that generates shower and thunderstorms. So we can expect to see that again and again Friday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Radar shows that Arthur is getting itself together. It is becoming stronger and better defined as it continues to move on to the north, paralleling the U.S. East Coast. It's expected to be a hurricane before too long and then make way around North Carolina. It will probably be up around Boston by July 4th, generating rain for those folks. Uh, the Pacific view has taken Elita completely out of the picture and left us with Douglas moving out over open water. Otherwise, nothing to upset the apple cart there. Future cast back home, deep south Texas, Thursday afternoon. Sea breeze front pushes in, generates a chance for a shower, a thunder shower. Could even see a mid-morning affair. And then on Friday, that's 4th of July, we have that opportunity with the sea breeze and the moisture in the air interacting to generate and watch shower and thunderstorm activity pop around the valley. Don't cancel your plans. The chance for showers and thunder showers, it's better than it was, but still, odds are either you may either see one for a short time or not at all. Independence Day forecast, 92 at noon, back down to around 90 by 6 o'clock after a high around 94 to 96, and then 9 o'clock as you're gearing up for the fireworks, about 86 degrees. And the threat of a shower or thunder shower should be done by that time, by fireworks time. That's good news. A seven-day forecast takes you through the 4th of July into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Again, dodging some showers and thunder showers on Saturday. That's about all. And your high temperatures, anywhere from the low 90s to the upper 90s, depending on where you are. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.